license categories. And again, we get this question every day in training, in CPD, every time, even with the new CPD, uh, when we're doing the compulsory CPD classes. And it's quite interesting where people still haven't got a, got a hold of the, the changes that happened seven months ago about the license categories. There are three licenses in property in New South Wales. They are real estate, stock and station, and strata. End of story. The old business agent's license, the buyer's agent's license, and the on-site residential property manager's license are no longer licensed categories. Auctioneering has not been a licensed category for over 20 years. It is an accreditation on your real estate or your, and or your stock and station license. Let's put that to one side. So you've got a real estate license, a stock and station license, and a strata license. If you want to sell businesses, you either had a business agent's license before and that condition has come across onto your real estate license, or you need to hold the new certificate for in real estate practice qualification. Even if you are licensed, you still need to upgrade to that new qualification that will give you an unrestricted license and enable you to sell businesses. You cannot sell businesses unless you hold either the condition on your real estate license or have an unrestricted class one or class two license. So no matter what class you are on this, it's either you have the condition or you have the new qualification, which gives you the new unrestricted real estate license, which will allow you to sell businesses. So if you can make sure that that's right, if you're going to add on categories of license, there's all new requirements for that. And depending on what you're trying to add on and what you already hold, there are different pathways to follow. And obviously we can assist you through every single one of those pathways We've worked out, have, you know, obviously the, the easiest way is a real estate and stock and station when they're because they work together quite closely and it's the same qualification now. Uh, and strata is a, is a different deal again. Probably the most common one, question we get is, I have a real estate agency and I want to add on strata or vice versa. I have a strata agency and I want to add on real estate or do property management is often what, what strata agents are looking to do. And honestly, you're starting again, you know, because you have to start from... Have it, holding a strata certificate of registration and being an assistant agent for a year, holding a class two license for two years, and then you can get a class one license, obviously with the work experience, which means that if it's your business and you're putting this in, you're going to actually have to hire somebody with a class one strata license to be able to work that part of the business. Remembering that you can have more than one licensee in charge. So you can remain as the licensee in charge of your real estate side of your business or your stock and station side of your business, and you'll hire in another licensee in charge, class one license holder, uh, to run that new part of the business until you can transition through to that full class one license in that area. So very different requirements from what we had this time last year. So, but still doable. So, and it's all about the experience and, and protecting our consumers within, within our industry. So uh, new licensing structures, been in for seven months. So almost, I, I, I almost have to stop saying new now but certainly we can assist you through those pathways when you need them. And as I said, whole new uh, uh, qualification requirements in, in Victoria as of today. So that was a big announcement uh, through for the Victorian agents today and we'll obviously be helping you through those pathways as well.